Security by the Nutrina 4 Thumper. It's snowing already. This is supposed to snow until later. Welcome back to Park Sifts and Parse Money. So I just found out, we picked up chicken feed earlier this week and we were unloading it and I noticed on the bags that they have a Neutrina like rewards program. So I just did some research and it looks like I can get rewarded for every bag of chicken feed. Now we have to buy chicken feed no matter what. Our chickens need to be fed, but if we can actually get it either with coupons or for a better price, I'm a happy lady. So I'm going to, I'm trying to find, they said there's supposed to be a reward code. This is the feed that we use for our chickens and it says plaid perks. That's where what I found um, for the coupon. I'm thinking it might be this code here. I don't know. I'm gonna see what I can, see if that's what it is. Enter it in and then, well, we go through four bags every six weeks. And that's a lot of chicken food. So it always pays to research and read the packaging because sometimes, you know, manufacturers do have reward coupons and it's just another way to stretch your, well, in this case, chicken feed budget. We did some school this morning. Charity made the well, pizza for me. I was on, thank you very much. I I had to make a phone call for our phones and wireless service. We have been on turtle speed with our internet. I know I've told you guys before, it takes us hours and hours and hours to upload videos. And with Charity doing school and college online, it's not working so well. So we've switched over hopefully getting higher speed but you guys know when you make those customer service calls it takes a long time so charity popped down her school was done her class was done and for now she's still got another class she's heading off to but she did the dough for me while i was on that phone call getting that switched around so yay faster internet should be coming our way and that means no more hiccuping zoom. Yes, no, and no more hiccuping 31 parties. Ah. I mean, I'm excited about this. And we drum don't... roll, please. I am saving $30 by switching. The and that is that is not a like a promotional fee because I know sometimes you get those promotional fees and you're like, oh, it's gonna go up in a month or a year or whatever. This is their standard rate. So there's no, um, no promotional rate. $360 a year I'm saving by switching. So I was doing a happy dance, I was happy. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make me happy these days. $360, $360. Eggplant pizza, we took out, I found some eggplant down in the freezer, so we put that on the pizza. You're going upstairs to finish yep. eating, right? Well, I... She's gotta go back to school. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna feed the monkeys. I'll be back with the rest of my afternoon. Art and I are doing some uh, vehicle maintenance at the moment. It is snowing. We're supposed to get almost, uh, what is it, eight inches, Art? Is that Something right? like that, yeah. So, just every day of the life, right? Totally normal. Right, yes. You want me to hold that for you? Well, uh... So, this is what I call teamwork. That wasn't, didn't take too long. Flexible funnel for the win. Art and I are heading to um, up the street. A neighbor is, um, she didn't use a gingerbread kit and she didn't want to throw it out. And I said, I, my kids didn't do one this year and they would love to. So we're gonna go up, grab that. It's supposed to snow today and tomorrow. And it's a perfect, perfect day to do that.
that's the end of the refrigerator dough that I made last week. I'll cook it today, so I'll have bread for lunch tomorrow, and then tonight I'll probably make another quadruple batch of that big batch sandwich bread that I posted that video. If you didn't see it, um, look in the description or look at my playlist. You'll see that I posted that video, I think it was last week, um, talking all about how I've, how I've been quadrupling our bread recipe and it's no need and it's all just refrigerator. It's awesome. If for planning purposes, I do the one loaf today, mix up more, and I'll have two more loaves for later this week. That's usually enough for us to get through. Like today, we did pizza. Um, tomorrow will just be sandwiches, probably soup and sandwiches. It's snowing. So anyways, that's a check on my list. But I've got my to-do list right here. And let's see. Mending, no, that's not done. I got to do sales page order scotch tape. Uh, clean beside stove. Yeah, not doing that right now. So I think what I'm going to do next is sort and donate the boys' shirt. Last week, I had the boys clean out their closet. Peter has outgrown all of his size 10 to 12 shirts. So I'm going to sort through them, donate, take care of whatever needs to be done with them. I had the boys bring them downstairs and they they need to be dealt with in the entryway. And then the other project, which um, it is on here, is I wanna try to finish the pulling all the staples from my upholstery project. If you didn't see that video, you can go watch that one too. Um, but I am attempting to reupholster, first time ever, a wing back chair. <laughs> I'm clueless what I'm doing, but I got most of, um, probably two thirds of it done on Saturday. I'm making progress with it, but it's slow. It's very well made. The staples were really put in there really hard. So it takes a lot of work. In fact, yesterday I noticed that the hand that was doing all of the pulling was actually very swollen from all the pulling and the bending and everything. So I'm glad I had a day to take a break from it. And today my goal is to finish that so then later on this week, I can start the recovery process. A little bit. One more side, Mary, and then the bottom. <laughs> yeah. We start putting it these back. Uh-huh. Two hours. Two hours later, this is what I've gotten done on the chair. Finished s s taking the staples out here all the way down to here. This is what I was working on currently. On this back side, I had to finish taking out all the staples on the inside here. I had to take the staples out here, finish here, and then over here, I had to finish this piece all the way around and then down across the bottom here. It doesn't seem like a lot and it's going turtle speed, but I figure if I can work on it a little bit every day, an hour or two, I should be able to finish this by the end of February. It is four o'clock. It is time to plan on dinner and Peter has offered to help. So we are working on making beef and broccoli for dinner and I think I'm gonna probably end up using my Instant Pot, but I'm not, I gotta see if I can find a recipe first. I need three of these. Okay, fill it up to the top. Okay, no, see it needs to go out a little bit more. So fill it up a little bit more. Like that. Okay, put it in the pan. Say one. Oh, we gotta fill it up more than that. There we go. Two. One more. There we go. Three. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Put the lid back on. Can you put that? Yep. Put the lid on. Thank you very much. Oil. Toast this up. Get this in here. Put the lid on. Okay. There you go. Good job. Let's put this away. Mommy, pour it in. Okay. Put 
rub it in. There we go. Really careful. You're going to stir that up. Stir. Okay, let's roll up your sleeve for a second. There you go. Now stir that right up. We have some apples that we're going to eat with dinner, and then doesn't that look good? Beef and broccoli, rice is in there, and here we're just toasting up some of those sunflowers, which I did last week, and Art said, oh, they're so much better roasted or toasted, so we're making some more, trying not to burn them. It is just about ready to bake. I'm waiting for the oven to go beep, 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 which there it is, there it it's is. 400, beep, beep. so I'm going to go ahead and cook that. Plastic wrap off and hope it doesn't explode on me. What happens if it does? Oh. I think that's going to end up with a very big top on it. Yeah, it might. Yeah. Another hour after dinner, the chair is completely undone. It's as far as I'm going to take it. The batting and the padding, I'm going to leave most of this in here. It seems to be in good enough shape. So I'm leaving this fabric just kind of over it. So while the kids are around, we're not losing all the white fabric and all that. But everything has been loosened. And the next step, I guess, is to start recovering it. It's not today. Today was my goal was to get this done. In fact, I'm going to check it off my list right now. Let's see, there it is. Finish pulling out staples from chair. Check. All right. Um, I'm going to work on the video next. Mending and sorting donate boy shorts. That's not too hard. This was actually from another day. And what I do with my to do list is I just fill this up and then as I get things done, I check them off. That way I don't have a day per se. Well, actually, this is for the month of February. So I have February here. And then these are my goals for the whole entire month of February. You can see it's, I don't have a lot of goals, but I wanna get those done. And then this is just like my running to-do list, brain dump. And then at nighttime, when I want, you know, something comes to my brain, I can just write it down on my to-do list and then I can go to sleep in peace, knowing that I did actually write it down. I'm not gonna forget it, it's in my book. And so far, I started this January, I actually just took um, a cheap five by eight spiral bound notebook found it at our ocean state job lot as a clearance store i think i paid 80 cents for it and then i just put wasi tape on it decorated i've got a whole bunch more stuff in here um but that i keep it all right there and so far february 15th it's working pretty good i took the kids up to grandma and grandpa's house for movie night to give art some time to work on the snail space challenge if you watch that video we've been doing usually four hours one night a week and then one hour for the other five days so tonight was our night to do four hours he did let's see I left around seven so he got okay two and a half to three hours tonight I don't know if he's gonna go back and work some more but I finished my snail space challenge so that's another check in my uh, to-do list for the day let's see snail space challenge right here check I am working on sort and donating boys shirts next. This is the stash of shirts. I'm not sure I'm going to end up keeping any for Daniel because they're, I might keep a few. These are the two, the two supposedly keep for now. And then I have, these are get rid of, pass along um, to my nephew, but I still need to go through um, this little pile here. Art's been working hard when you see this in the kitchen. Coming up from the basement. Coming stairs. up from the basement, right? More wood chips over there. Yes. Lots Construction is happening. But if you remember the days when Art used to use the chop saw in my kitchen, ooh, this Art. is fabulous. This is fantastic. So we'll take a little bit of sawdust. It's only for a couple more weeks. All right, well, I didn't, I didn't finish everything on my list that I wanted to, but that's okay. The system that I've been working on for my list has been really helpful because it just keeps me on track. I can write everything down. Not everything on the list needs to be done, but it keeps it out of my head, on paper, and in sight. So if 
I have a few minutes of time, I can just look at my list and say what needs to be done. It's been working. I did do some research on the scotch tape. I have a $30 off $60 coupon for Staples. I was trying to see if I had enough products that I needed to order, one of them being the scotch tape, but I wasn't able to pull that together. I was working on putting that together, price checking it to other places, making sure I'm getting the best deal even with a 30 off 60, but I don't know. I'm not sure that it's going to even be worth it. I mean, Staples tends to be a little priced a little bit on the higher side, but if you use their coupons, it makes it cheaper. But it's 1130. My brain's too tired to actually figure that all out. That's for another day. It's on my list, though. And the sort and donate boys shirts. I have those all bagged up and ready to go for the next time I head out of the house. And I did keep a small little pile for Daniel. I'm gonna end today's vlog. Not getting everything I wanted done, but I'm pretty happy with what I accomplished. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video. Good night.